and what what what's going on Today's video is sponsored by Raycon, premium earbuds starting at only half the price of other brands. Check the link down below to get 15% off your order. Hey Greens, and welcome to an episode of Cheap versus Expensive, or as I like to call it, bang for your buck. Or another word we can call it is fun for dollar. Fun per dollar. I actually like fun per dollar. Today we're going to be looking at two craft kits that offer the exact same activity but at two different price points. The question is, is the cheaper one better or is the more expensive one giving us a better kind of playability? Our two contestants have to do with rock painting. When it comes to rock painting, my first impression of it is like, why should I paint rocks? I don't get it. But the more I saw my friends actually do rock painting and rock painting decorations, then I started to understand that it's not just painting a rock, but it's adding your personality to any kind of piece. And yeah, they do kind of look cute after they're done. As our inexpensive kit at $6.49 from Amazon, we have Creativity for Kids. They are a really well-known company, Fabric Castell. And in case some of you don't know, Fabric Castell is a huge company in the art section where they make some really good quality colored pencils. So the fact that they ventured into craft kits is nothing new. And a newcomer at $14.99, we have Dan and Darcy Rock Painting. Already I can tell you I'm not a huge fan of the photoshopping on top of this kit, so I'm really hoping that what's on the inside delivers. Both of these kits do say that they have 10 rocks and transfers, so let's see which one is actually more bang for your buck. By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe because I do wave sharp pointy things, especially if you don't press on all notifications. And the perk is you become part of the Salt Shaker family in which each one of us is a grain of salt. Also, let me know in the comment section below which one do you think is going to be the better kit. I think I'm going to put a little bit more faith into the creativity for kids and less on the Dan and Darcy. So we'll see. Remember to comment down below. With that said, our first victim, I mean kit. Hide and Seek Rock Painting Kit by Creativity for Kids. I kind of forgot for a split second. Why did I freeze? <laughs> I was like, Creativity for Kids. <laughs> Full disclosure, I did steal two rocks from this kit. I didn't look on the inside, I just kind of went in, tore the little bag of rocks and took two out for when I did my Crayola hacks video. This one, as you see on screen, I really tried to see if Crayola hacks were real, so I went ahead and used Crayola on hot rocks. If you're interested to see that video, I will link it down below. But other than that, I really <laughs> didn't check this kit out. So as the box says, we get rocks, paint, and transfers, so we should be able to transfer our designs onto rocks and the fun thing is when we look on the side it does say that this paint is weather proof well red weather resistant so it technically means that if you do use it as a decoration for your plants you should be okay to water it so let's keep that in mind and I have to admit the designs are absolutely adorable I really like the kitty cat one too and for six dollars and 49 cents right now on Amazon this really does make it a bargain kit with that said Let's see what we get inside. Yes, I did reseal it. Don't judge me. How else are we gonna get a dramatic unboxing? Yes, this is the bag I stole from. Here's what we get inside. Two packs of five rocks, but I did take two out of the other one, so this is what we get. And for some reason, I really love the sound of rocks. Not sure why. Still not sure why. The instructions do mention that we should wash and dry these rocks, so I will be doing that. We get gold stencils, facial expressions, cute little words, and then social media stickers. Where's the cat? So I thought this cat, the entirety of it, was a stencil, but it turns out, according to the instructions, this is a um, permanent marker of your own to make details, so I'm a little disappointed. We also get two different widths of brushes, which is very welcome. Usually most of these kits just throw in one size and they're like, you figure it out. But here we have a wide brush, and here we have something for a little more detail. Oh, 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 what happened here? It's all so it's going to be interesting to see how well they actually work, if they're just going to be like 
and growth. We also get a piece of sponge for the transfers. And last but not least, we get eight different colors. And one of the things I am extremely surprised with is the fact that we actually do get a black paint. Normally these companies don't give us a dark color, but the fact that they gave us, in addition to the primary colors, black and white is really a good thing. One of the things that annoys me about this paint and the box it came in is that it was bent. So when you try to put it straight, yeah. Stay! Stay still! And here's a close-up of the paint. Looks nice and gloopy. And you gotta push real hard. There. I'm not even gonna try with you anymore because all you want to do is fall. And here they are. All nice and washed. All right, so let's go ahead and do two different designs. Let's see what these rock shapes inspired us. Holy carp, is that a butt crack? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this rock has some, some pretty nice cheeks going on here. Look at that. So I think this is going to be the first one we're gonna work on with a little booty. And this one has some really nice textures and really different kinds of color. That's, that's another butt crack right there. Why am I seeing butt cracks? Good job. This one is nice and smooth. I don't have, oh, looks like little leaves. I don't have any inspiration for the other two yet, so let's go ahead and start with the first one. I'm going to call you la pièce de résistance. So the first test is going to be putting a layer of white because they do recommend starting off with one coat of white. That is nice and thick. And first impression. Oh, so even though it is slightly on the transparent side, they do say clearly in their instructions to put more than one coat. However, for the base of the white, they say to only put one. Eventually. And here it is after four minutes. Believe it or not, the paint has dried. That was really quick and it does have a nice shine to it you know what i'm gonna have to paint the back in black but i'll do that later on now i think our creature of choice is going to be a derpy dino so let's try the green and okay it's gonna need a little stirring let's go over here do not fall don't you dare do it hey why'd you fall no stay don't move Day. It's usually recommended to stir any kind of paint before you use it just in case, you know, it separates or how lo however long it's been. Creativity for kids, if you are watching, please, I think, divide your container things because they keep wanting to fall, even though I've adjusted it many times. Ooh, still nice and thick. I'm going to guess we're going to need at least two coats of green, but that is, yeah, still a little streaky. So mm, two coats probably won't be enough. Let's see. So I went ahead and added the second coat. However, I wasn't really expecting the second coat to go entirely opaque, but it did a pretty good job. Once it was dried up, you can see that there are still some translucenty type streaks. It's not really very visible, but as someone who's close up to the piece, you will see it. So I figured, hey, let's go for a third coat, and I'm pretty happy with what it looks like. I took out the second brush and wetted it so that we can remove the adhesive, and it is, it is all over the place. Look at that. It is like my hair first thing in the morning. Charming. Very charming. All right, so now we're going to take our little decal and it does tell us to use it kind of like a tattoo where you put a little bit of water behind it until it fully transfers. But I just realized that they don't give us any kind of glaze to go over the rock. So then the question is, is this little derpy dragon dinosaur? Wow, where are my words? <laughs> so the question is, is this little decal thing also weatherproof or will it fade with weather? With weather. Right, you, you know what? You know what I meant? Don't pretend you didn't know what I meant because we get each other. Okay? Okay. Suddenly I'm realizing that this dino's derriere is way bigger than its head. So you know what? Good for it. Okay, so face down. I think we'll put it on the get right here. And just a little water. There. I mean, if it doesn't transfer on a rock that is curved, then why did they make these decals for curved rocks, right? Otherwise they would have given us rocks that are flat. Oh, it just slipped right off. Okay. 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 I am pretty impressed. That went on way more smoothly than I expected. Here's to you, $6.49. <laughs>
And so after putting together the little dino head, I decided to use the back end of the brush as they also recommended in order to draw in the rest of the details. But oh my god, it doesn't hold enough paint and you can't even see the paint, but also it's pretty gloopy so you can't get that much detail, which made me totally mess up the way that the bum arches with the tail. And yeah, I just don't like the fact that they didn't give us a detail brush because the brush they gave us really does look bad. Let's let's go back to seeing how messy it actually is. So even though the painting experience itself was pleasant, the paint brush for the details was not pleasant. And I took the liberty to go ahead and do the, the back in black. So here's our, our derpy dido. So here is the black base in the back. And what? What? What's going on? Oh, come on. This is still sticky. It's been 20 minutes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> So this was not expected. It, now it just looks angry, which I kind of like the aesthetic, but it's been legitimately 20 minutes. The entire paint has dried. This is the only thing that is still sticky. And yeah, I'm not happy about that. I figured I'd give the details a little bit more chance and do the smaller rock, but this time we're going to do an owl. So I didn't want to do a real owl. I figured I'd go with brighter colors, again, going with the white base and seeing how it would look. And again, as you can see, I am only using the kit as it comes to see what we can do. The back of the brush is just so disappointing. I'm trying to make these fine details, but they ain't fine. I also went ahead and painted the entire back black. Other than using the the back of the brush, I really don't see when I would use this one over here. It's just so poofy and it's loose and it's like, it's just going Every time you just try to brush with it, it goes that way. So it's, it's just not, I'm not having it with this brush. There's no instance where I would ever use it willingly other than the fact that I would just use the back, but even then, so when it comes to this cheap kit by Creativity for Kids, the paints are nice, the decals are kind of fun, paintbrush and accessories, meh. And what I'm still curious about is whether or not the decal is going to come off and still stay sticky again. I've left it for half an hour this time, so let's touch the face. And yes, it is still sticky, but it's not coming off. So that's, that's a good thing. What if I leave my finger there? Okay, but as you can see, look, my finger is still very sticky for some reason. But let's not forget this one. With these in mind, let's go ahead and try the more expensive kit. All right, since I am pessimistic, I think the salt shaker is going to end up changing color. Yep, it totally changed colors because the salt shaker and I, we are simpatico. So our next kit is... Dan and Darcy rock painting kit. As I mentioned at the beginning, I'm not a huge fan of the fact that these rocks at the front of the box are photoshopped. So I'm really skeptical, unless the paint really is that shiny, which I doubt it. I mean, even that boat looks like it's, it's so uber shiny. In the back of the box, we do get all the items listed as well as the front of the box. So basically we're getting the rocks, paints, transfers, but we're also getting glitter glue and googly eyes and gems. So it looks like they're really trying to pack in as much as possible in this box. But our goal today is to make sure that whatever is in there does what it's supposed to do, which means let's see what we get inside. Okay, this is interesting. The rocks in this kit are a translucenty white color. Not sure if that's going to make anything different, but that's what we're getting. Look at that, look at you. You are a cute rock. I wanna turn you into a sculpture. That's another video. Okay, I am getting serious deja vu from this instruction guide because everything in this kit is very similar to the creativity for kids. Even the instruction, the instruction order, the tips and tricks. So unless all rock painting kits are exactly the same, this one's giving me very similar vibes. And just to make sure that I'm not just thinking this out of nowhere, when I go online and see Creativity for Kids products, I see an equal and similar kit by Dan and Darcy. Just look at this terrarium kind of growing thing. There's one for Creativity by Kids, and there's also one by Dan and Darcy. And there's quite a few different examples of these things. So maybe they're being heavily inspired by Fabricastel. With that said, we get 10 white river stones. 
still makes the sound I like. And yes, they did say to wash them and dry them. We have the decals, which are just very generic tiny stickers. Sponge. The googly eyes that are both large, medium, and tiny. Gems. Two very cheap quality paint brushes, also in a more flat type bristle, and a detail type brush. I feel like this detail brush is probably better than the Fabric Castell, but we're only going to know once we wet it. But it is super bendy. Look at that. Super bendy. Listen. Very plasticky. Gold and silver glitter glues. Paints in the primary color, green, white, and black. But also, we have some metallic paints. So we're getting more paints here. Here are our rocks, all clean and dry. So similarly to the first kit, they tell us to put a base of white paint. And let's see our white paint. Looks like white paint. And in case you're wondering, yes, I did stir it. And how does it look on the rock? Oh, that is, that is way more watery than the previous kit. You know what? Let's test it on the darker rock. This is the exact same rock we used for the other kit. And yeah, no, it, it feels like there's way more water in this one, right? think so. The only reason it's a little darker in other areas is because it's accumulated inside the actual crevices, whereas when it's not inside a crevice, it's very, very much so translucent-y as opposed to gesso-like. But you know what? We'll do as they say. We're just gonna give the entire thing one good, generous coat. A few minutes later. Good news is, drying time is about the same as the other kit, about four-ish minutes on this white. And now what I want to do is recreate this pig. It looks like they're using a shiny metallic paint, so we're definitely going to be using this one. I'm really curious if it's going to cover the entire surface. And it seems like we're going to be using googly eyes, and I think these would be decals because they're way too straight. Is there even a boat? There's a boat here. Okay, here's the boat, but I don't see the pig ears. Mm, not here either. Okay. Whoa, 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 what is this? What is this? Is this person spitting while laughing? Because these don't look like laughter tears. They look like he's speaking very wetly, which is not very good to do. I don't even know what this emoji is. I do have my doubts if we're going to have enough paint for this surface, but let's give it, oh no, oh no, oh no. Metallic paint. Oh no. We're, gonna st we're still gonna use this. We are not backing down from a challenge. It's quite thick, which I guess is a good thing, but we really don't get much. Oh no. But hey, maybe a little goes a long way. Are they all this little? No. Purple is generous. Orange is pretty much still half missing, but it's, it's okay. Gold is generous. Silver's good. Green is okay. I think the worst one was the pink. All right, so I'm going to dunk my paintbrush. Oh, that is, that is very thick. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. And here it goes. That is, that is really transparent. I don't know if you grains can tell. This is really transparent. I'm hoping the second coat really does go for miracles, but let's, let's wait and see. I'm gonna finish this first coat and then show you grains what it looks like with a second coat. So here it is after the first coat and you can see that the paint likes to kind of clump and lump for some reason. Not sure why. So as you can see the first and second coat side by side, I'm actually genuinely impressed how much more the second coat actually covered. Interesting. And I do quite like the pearlescent effect of this paint. So now to make the snout, I'm mixing a bit of the metallic with the red, so that gives us a kind of deeper pink, but not a pure red. And I have to admit that this detail brush in this kit is way better than the Fabric Castell one, oddly enough. Yeah, that, that one was just gross. I don't wanna look, no, no, don't bring it back on screen, I don't wanna see it. Then we're adding the two cute little nostrils. And like I said, we're going to be making the pig exactly, well, not exactly, because I wanna make a queen pig by using some of that glue that they gave us. So we are using the googly eyes, so I'm gonna be, I don't know if, how do, how does this, are these not stickers? Oh no, these are not stickers. Oh no, or are they? It just says googly eyes. Do I have to use glue? Hmm. So from what it looks like, I thought this here was a sticker, but by the way, these are these are cheap quality googly eyes. But no, I think we're gonna have to actually glue them manually. So this this glue had better be quick setting. I'm gonna put like so, and over here, there, and the other side, and we're gonna put it 
over here. I don't know how long it's going to take because there's no information. I'm going to take the same brush that we use for the nostrils and do the little ears and the little swirly thing, but I also want to add a crown with our gold. All right, nice and steady. We're gonna give her a cute crown right here. Oh, hang on, we're gonna, we got this. We're gonna make three, three little spikes there and there she is, her highness piggy. We're gonna let that dry and see what it looks like. At least the gems are stickers, so we could put it right here. Oh, no, 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 don't you dare move. Oh, no, don't you dare move, no. No, 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 stay. Aw, oh, dang it. <laughs> no! All right, so I re-glued it, but I don't have much hope. We'll wait 24 hours and see if it actually does hold. In case your grains were wondering what it's like to put a decal on this, I prepared a surface at the beginning when I started the pig, so it's had quite a bit of time to dry. Oh. It seems to have been reactivated by the water. Is the decal going to come off? And yes. So at least it's easy to do the transfers as well, but that is insane. Why did this come off? Oh, that's true. Okay, look, so the green does smudge with water. Remember what I said to keep in mind of for the Fabric Castell one? When we look on the side, it does say that this paint is weather proof. Well, red weather resistant. Yes, weather resistant paint. Whereas with this expensive kit, we don't get any kind of wetter, wet, weather, 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 resistance, not wetter, weather. So let's, let's check back on uh, pig, pig princess in 24 hours. 24 hours later. So here we are 24 hours later. You can see that the glue has flattened. The gem is still nicely on there. Now the question is, how are the googly eyes? And yeah, no, no. So this one's a little more firm. Okay, no. So which one has the more fun per dollar or bang for your buck? We have Faber-Castell on this side, Dan and Darcy on this side, fight! Yep, I agree, Faber-Castell. The googly eyes and gems can definitely be things that you can pick up from the dollar store, which would still bring your total way less than the actual $15 of the Dan and Darcy. Not to mention weatherproof paint. Enough said. As mentioned at the beginning of today's video, we are sponsored by Raycon. For those of you who don't know, Raycon is a huge supporter of this channel, but also they're my favorite earbuds. Raycon has taken the market by storm because they offer premium quality for starting about half the price of other brands out there with no compromise. They also come in really cute colors. Just look at all the options you have. What I love about Raycon that is really different, the way that they design their products. But Jackie, what do you mean design their products? You get seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design with no dangly little stems that are just kind of all over the place. They are so discreet. Look, you can't even tell that I'm wearing them. And because they offer so many different fits for different ear sizes, which is thank you very much since I have small ears, it also means that they're noise isolating. In addition to absolutely beautiful design, Raycon prioritizes customer experience, which means that you have 45 days of return free policy. So there really is no risk. So whether you want to listen to music or your favorite podcast while you're sculpting or want to make your day-to-day -day more comfortable. Raycon earbuds really are my favorite. And hey, celebrities like Melissa Etheridge are also pretty obsessed with them. So make sure you click on the link in the description box below by raycon.com forward slash nerdycrafter for 15% off your order. Thank you Raycon for sponsoring today's video. Let me know in the comment section below which one did you think was actually more bang for your buck? The one with more accessories or the one that, you know, the bad paintbrush but weather resistant? resistant paint. I'm very curious because the other one really did have better brushes though. Don't forget to add me on Twitch, Instagram, and TikTok. And if you want to watch the previous cheap versus expensive, but this time sticker kit, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a video YouTube thinks you haven't seen yet, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video.